Good day, everyone. My name is Margaret Nienaber, and I am the Chief Executive of Client Solutions. I'm so excited to share with you some thoughts on the positioning of this newly formed area within the context of the Standard Bank Group strategy. I'm going to touch on these key themes, defining client solutions, what our focus areas are, and what you can expect as key takeaways and targets for 2025. You would have heard from Sim on how client solutions fits into the context of the Standard Bank Group strategy, with a key focus on servicing the solutions needs of the three Standard Bank client segments and scaling through partnerships. Today, we would like to focus on the following three key areas. What we mean when we say we want to be a modular producer or modularize what we do. Secondly, understanding the importance of partnerships. And thirdly, unpacking how we intend to unlock value and client benefit with the intended integration of the Liberty Group. Firstly, unpacking what we mean when we say we want to modularize. In a world where value propositions are no longer fixed or static, we realize that no partner or client's needs will be the same. And we therefore use the analogy of the honeycomb to represent our client value proposition. Many of you will be familiar with the strength of honeycomb technology used in Formula One cars. And of course, in nature, it represents flexibility, adaptability, and it is unique in its very modular nature. We built this honeycomb around the key solutions clustered as banking, insurance, investments, and non-financial services or beyond financial services as we refer to it. Within each of these solutions, we have a number of client needs that we address with each of these hexagons having their own unique product set. None of our partners or clients will want the same honeycomb and we cater for their unique needs on a very personalized basis. The reference to wanting to modularize or show up as a modular producer is really categorized into three themes. Firstly, lowering the cost to serve by bringing together the capabilities that were previously run within the old business units into a central place to allow us to show up as integrated, simple, and efficient, able to build innovative and scalable solutions within any configuration. This also talks to something we are very passionate about, which is being truly human and truly digital, which I will unpack shortly. Secondly, standardizing what we do, which also links in with this theme of simplification of the tech landscape and decommissioning our legacy systems, which you will hear more about from Alpheus. And then lastly, ensuring that we have the ability to connect with the businesses of our partners via APIs or otherwise required to allow us to scale and partner with others in a seamlessly integrated way. And so to summarize this slide, segments or our partners will inform us with regards to the needs expressed by their clients, for example, the pick and pay partnership, where we will then solve for the client needs through the correct solutions. And our colleagues in engineering will assist us to ensure we operate within a simplified landscape with the ability to plug and play into any particular business. One of the key focus areas within lowering our cost to serve is to find this right balance between being truly human and truly digital. We believe being truly human will remain a key client engagement imperative going forward. But there has to be a shift from human interference behind the scenes, often slowing down the service to the client or acting as a bottleneck because solutions have not been fully digitized throughout. For example, straight through processing, which is one of the key measures in the wheel on your screen 
which defines what we mean by digital solutions. You would have heard previously about digital engagement. For example, the 99% digital engagement within our retail client base in South Africa. This graph measures digital fulfillment across all of our jurisdictions and across all three of the client segments. And so you will see that currently we are at a combined digital fulfillment rate of 22% and we aim to get to 50% by 2025, which compares well with global best practice. It may not be the same average for each of these solutions, but we believe that we can get to the right balance. One such example is our Flexi Funeral product, which Vineka also referenced, launched a year ago and now at 640,000 active policies, currently sold through branches and call centers where we increased our existing base by 40% in only one year. By the end of this year, this solution will be fully digital, which includes straight through processing. The second and very important focus area is then this notion of scaling through partnerships. When we define partnerships, we really look at it through two lenses. On the left side of the slide, are those partners who complement our honeycomb for Standard Bank segment clients and therefore act as open architecture solution partners within the frameworks of banking, insurance, investments, and beyond. And then on the right-hand side of the slide, you will see that going forward, we also plan to scale through strategic distribution partners where we offer our own Standard Bank manufactured honeycomb solutions within insurance, banking and investments into other people's client distribution channels or ecosystems or platforms, however you want to look at it, on the basis of B2B2C or B2B2B. I would like to unpack these two kinds of partnerships for you. Firstly, within the context of our open architecture solutions partners. So those complementing the value proposition for Standard Bank segment clients. We have already successfully partnered with competitors like Sunlum, Hollard and Old Mutual to provide insurance solutions within Africa regions. Going forward, we would also like to focus on our non-financial services or beyond solutions by listening to the broader needs of our client base and optimizing our distribution network. We already offer beyond solutions like lottery, airtime and electricity to our clients in South Africa. With 350 million rands revenue from non-financial services as at the end of 2020. Based on research done on the continent on our own and future clients needs, we have narrowed down the beyond focus areas to the seven displayed on the screen. We have already started engaging with many of these partners and look forward to sharing progress in this regard with all of you. You will notice, for example, home services as a focus area for beyond or non-financial services. This is, of course, to complement our home loans business, where we are already proudly the market leader in South Africa. We aim to grow revenue from these Beyond Solutions partners to between 3 and 4 billion rands by 2025. Secondly, when it comes to strategic distribution partners, the current 1.6 billion rands revenue as at the end of 2020 is made up of those areas in yellow on the screen. For example, existing partnerships such as providing home services to clients of SR Home Loans, providing international solutions through trust companies in Jersey, or independent financial advisor networks like Efficient Wealth and Devere Group partnering with us to offer our Standard Bank international banking solutions to their wealth management clients across the African continent. With our colleagues in innovation, we are already engaging with a number of fintech partners. And we are also partnering 
within our vehicle and asset finance space with mobility and fleet partners. We don't necessarily see these partnerships as being exclusive. And within the new framework, we are very comfortable to also partner with competitors, which is why you will see financial services as one of our key areas that we are focusing on, where we've already started to see some green shoots. Partnerships will allow us to scale many of our digital assets also on a white labeled basis to extend their reach across the continent. And you can see a number of these assets on the screen as already referenced by my colleagues. The integration of Liberty into the Standard Bank Group is an important and exciting next step to allow us to truly function as a platform business ready to partner. As for the slide that Sim shared, we are focusing on both the transaction imperatives like allowing Standard Bank and Liberty clients the benefit of scale and choice, as well as the six key business case drivers. Within the context of already being the most successful bank assurance agreement on the continent, we believe this transaction will allow us to refine our engagement around a number of key areas, also allowing for better capital usage. We look forward to unpacking this with all of you in more detail. Within the combined short-term and long-term insurance portfolios, we already have a significant gross written premium of 64 billion rands, consisting 90% of life insurance solutions. And as you can see, this is mostly done for individuals within consumer and high net worth, but we are slowly starting to increase our reach to business and commercial clients with a clear opportunity to also partner with our clients in wholesale on their insurance needs. 91% of these premiums are from South Africa, with the remaining 9% being spread across the continent, where we are steadily starting to increase our penetration. The addition of our Stanvik IBTC Life License in Nigeria is our latest introduction to the portfolio. Going forward, our focus will remain the opportunity to utilize our distribution base to establish broking businesses for short-term and long-term insurance. It is not our intention to start manufacturing capabilities unless there's real scale in the country like Nigeria. And we will therefore continue our drive to partner on manufacturing across the continent. On a consolidated basis, we already have a total of 1.2 trillion combined assets under management and administration, which puts us in the top three asset managers on the continent. In fact, at 1.2 trillion rands, at the end of 2020, we are the second largest on the continent, with the ability to now scale our back office support functions across all of these businesses. Approximately 24% of this assets under management is currently outside of South Africa. In closing, what are the key takeaways from these focus areas? By 2025, we aim to lower our cost to serve, standardize, and have the ability to seamlessly connect with partners with a particular focus on having at least 50% digital fulfillment on the solutions being provided to clients. Secondly, achieving between eight and a half and 10 and a half billion rands of the group's revenue through partnerships, consisting of three to four billion rands from beyond our non-financial services and between five and a half and six and a half billion from strategic distribution partners. And thirdly, unlock the potential to fully integrate Liberty for the benefit of all of our stakeholders. We are so passionate about our purpose. Africa is our home, we drive her growth. And we look forward to taking you on this journey with us. Thank you. And it's now my pleasure to hand you over to Alpheus.